What's up guys, Martins here. Lately we can hear a lot of talk about the end of the world, so I think it's a good time to create Photoshop tutorial about it, about a galaxy cataclysm like this, and I hope you like it. At first we need to create our background, so click File and New. You can set the same settings as me and then click OK. We need to create simply galaxy background. So click filter, noise and click add noise. Set amount about 200%. Click Gaussian and monochromatic and OK. Go to Filter, Blur, and click Gaussian Blur, and set radius about 2 pixels, then go to Image, Adjustments, and click Levels. And now do the same as me to create the stars, of course. Drag the first cursor to the right and the last cursor to the left to create the stars. Something like this. Now create new layer. Select color blue and black, I think. Go to Filter, Render and click Clouds. Set Screen or Linear Dutch. Then go to Filter, Blur and click Motion Blur. and then set opacity about 30% or less and now we need to add our planet this photo is taken by NASA and I put the link in the description if you want. Click Elliptical Margi tool and select the planet. Set feather about 3 pixels, then click right and click layer via copy. And OK. Now click move tool and drag this planet to your main project. OK. I think the size is correct, of course you can make it smaller or or bigger. I duplicate this layer to add some drama to my photo and in blending mode I set soft light. Create new layer, select your planet, press Ctrl and select your planet click gradient tool, select color white and the second color black and create something like me 
Then in blending mode, set soft light. Click the select, duplicate this layer. Go to Filter, Blur and click Gaussian Blur and make it little blurry. Now add a second planet photo or moon photo or whatever you want. I put the link in the I put the link in the description for these two. Make the selection. And drag this to your main project. Click Selection Tool, then Write and Free Transform. To make it smaller, Okay. Drag this layer down under this tool gradient tool layer. You can duplicate this layer and in blending mode for the new layer set screen to make your moon little lighter then create new layer select color white set soft round and add some light like me then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and add some blur then click right on this layer go to outer glow change opacity to 40% and change your color to color orange then create new layer select color orange yellow or something like this and add some other colors here and in blending mode for the layer set screen now uh, click on the planet layer press control and make the selection create new layer and fill it with color white then click deselect drag it down under your planets layer then click move tool and drag it up a little like me then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and make it little blurry of course now you can create new layer and add some other colors Okay, create new layer, 
fill it with color black. In blending mode for the layer set lighten. Then go to filter, render and click lens flare. Select your lens type and brightness. Then click OK and drag it down under your other layers. You can change opacity a little if you want. And OK, we almost done. So create new layer, drag it down a little, click brush tool and select your star shape. And as you see I have a lot star brushes. You can download it from website, I put the link in the description. To load these brushes to your Photoshop, click this small icon, then load brushes, and find these brushes on your computer, then click load. And OK. Select color white, then select your Star brush, I prefer this called Sampled Brush 17. And you can also add some other brush, and you can also add some other star brush, and then Select this brush called Sample Brush number 3. Create new layer almost at the top as you see. And add some effects on your photo. OK, I think it's all. Of course you can add some other effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel for more Photoshop tutorial and to hear you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.